welcome inside the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. This is some lacrosse action for you. Major Series Lacrosse. This is the Senior A Division. My name is Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart. Daryl, welcome. Well, thank you and uh, welcome to the ILA. And uh, thanks to Rogers for doing this. As we're all ready to go here for Major Series Lacrosse action between the Six Nations Chiefs and the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club, and we're already off to the races here. Yeah, that's right. Brooklyn already taking a 2 nothing lead, and that is Six Nations with the ball right now, and now a counterattack here by Brooklyn. Coming up, a three-on-two opportunity, shoots, and that one is set wide by Ryan Bonneville. And we had uh, two goals right before we went on the air uh, a minute into the game. Yeah, it was Austin Murphy scoring the first one. Austin Murphy scored the first one. And we had Peyton Cormier with the second. So BLC with the 2 nothing lead. And just about, try just about putting Six Nations on the board there. Now going to the bench is number 13, Vaughn Harris. And now... Brooklyn looking to add to their lead right here. This is Launchbury. Oh, that is a good shot right in close. And it is stopped. Brooklyn still with it. It's LaFontaine. And now a counterattack. Here's LeClaire. Moves it ahead. In close, a backhanded oh. shot by LeClaire. A little dipsy duel in front of the net. Wow, what a, what a play. Save. And that's a, a lot of the things you'll see out of the Six Nations Chiefs. Uh, they're a very athletic, very young team. And there's going to be a lot of transition. That's something that they hadn't been like in previous years. And that one, uh, LeClaire with a beautiful behind the pack shot. And a beautiful save by Riley Hutchcraft, who's in net. Riley Hutchcraft, Toronto Rock in the NLL. Almost stolen there. Now stats, there's a shot stopped, and we do have a few stats on this team, of course. Number 43 took that shot there, it was Austin Stats. And a nice save by Hutchcraft there, and a collision in behind him. here. Launchbury going in close and he scores. No goal on no, that no one. No goal. There he stepped in. That was number nine. Ryan Launchbury, he was streaking on, on the left side there and his toe caught the ground of the crease area, so no goal on that yeah, one. Yeah, that's a goal right there. Good shot. Putting the Chiefs on the board. That was a laser of a shot by Vaughn Harris. That's something you'll see and we'll catch it on the replay here. And there was a two man play there with all starting with Randy Stotts. A one on one motion, pick and roll. Beautiful behind the back pass to Vaughn and Vaughn buries it. And Almost that's like a reverse pick play in a way. Just getting the guy alone and just allowing him the room to take that shot. And that's something you'll see a lot of, especially in this league. There's a lot of two man play, a lot of pick and roll, and off the off pick and landing off. And again, there's a duo, Randy Stotts and uh, Vaughn Harris. They'll be representing the Haudenosaunee Nationals at the World Lacrosse Games in Alabama in a couple of weeks. Uh, Brooklyn looking to counterattack here. This is number 22. That's thrown in close. The hand goes up. A high stick. And we're going to get a penalty here. And you'll notice uh, tonight we've got the three officials. Uh, usually we do have the, or th that was uh, one of the discussions over the week through the league as number 53, Luke Pilcher. Oh, no. No, we got the. Uh, That's an Oshwegan penalty. It's, it's going to be a power play here for Brooklyn. That's a Six Nations penalty. Sorry. Whistle goes and 
They're going to throw somebody. Uh, misconduct being called here. So now another player for Six Nations going to the box here. A little bit of chirping going on on the bench. That time it was... Uh, Number 17, we gotta get that in there. And now there's a shot, or rather that was a pass. Now there's a shot, good save made by the goaltender. And now shorthanded. Six Nations, here's Randy Stotts. Randy protecting the ball very well here. Working around the perimeter. Still with it, trying to just penetrate this defense and he's just gonna take the shot through. And Jerry Stotts with the original penalty on the high stick. And then uh, not liking that call. We had an additional penalty there. Now Brooklyn here trying to put one more on the board. Murphy takes a look. He's exchanging the ball very well here. Murphy over. Trying to find Lodgebury in there. And now Murphy again shoots. What a save. That was Shane Simpson with the, the chirp from the bench. And he gets a 10-minute misconduct on that one. And now the Chiefs here. Stats looking around, trying to cut through to the front of the net, but stepped into the illegal zone there. And that's something you'll see from Austin Stats. Uh, the guy likes to put his body on the line, and of course, for the San Diego Seals in the National Lacrosse League, he did, did that all this season long, and something you'll see all summer here. And a shot, Nations. another save by Jamison, keeping that one out. And now a stretch pass here. But that one's gonna be grabbed. And Brooklyn comes the other way. For 65, that is Wesley. Pass through, shoots! Jamison with another save. And now coming the other way. Jeremy Stats pass it over as back to five aside. Twelve seconds left on the shot clock. Lots of aggression in Brooklyn, able to get the ball, counterattacking here. It's number 27 shoots and another save by Jamison. Jamison, he's making his first start of this MSL season. And of course, the Albany Firewolves. I know I was on Oxford today and uh, I was tongue tied with that one. I forgot what the Albany team was named. Uh, it was one of those, must have been one of those days. It was a Tuesday. So, <laughs> what can I say on that one? But Dougie, one of the best goaltenders in the world. And again, the Chiefs, an embarrassment of riches in, in between the pipes with he and uh, Warren Hill, and of course, two of the top goaltenders in the National Lacrosse League. Jake Stevens passes it up. Tommy, Tommy shoots, scores! Wow. Breakaway goes underneath Jamison, and it is now 3-1 to one for Brooklyn. That's a great individual effort by Bryce Tommy, as we see here on the replay. And that all started with the loose ball and a nice pass to his feet by while he Jake made that Chase. pass. But totally with the individual effort and of course stretching out the floor. But of course that first, uh, that initial play by Jake Stevens. What a beautiful play there <laughs> on, it, uh, on his butt for the better sense of the word and then knocked the ball loose, got the loose ball and a uh, nice long bonk pass and told me making no mistake here. And finding some room and you know some people that don't watch lacrosse too often might think hey those goaltenders they got a lot of padding they look huge in those nets <laughs> you can still find room Murphy 
Low shot, that one goes wide. And that's one thing the viewers will like. Uh, uh, of course, you're talking about some of the fans that are uh, not too, too familiar with the game. These games can be high scoring. They really can. And I mean, world, most world of these games are you know, double digits for Absolutely. both of these teams this year. Absolutely. We've got world-class goaltenders, but we've also got world-class shooters out here. And one of those world-class shooters has the ball right now in Cody Jamison. Cody Jamison passes it over. Stotts, Austin Stotts with a shot. That one looks like it hits somebody in front. And now the other way for Stevens. Stevens will snatch this ball up. Launchbury. Order number 65, that's Wesley. Wesley, got into Launchbury. Wesley again, still with it, trying to penetrate the defense and a couple of hacks there. And a shot doesn't reach the net and that's gonna do it for the shot clock and Six Nations will turn it over here. Leclerc, he'll go off. Nope, he's gonna stay on. Leclerc turns around. Lifts it up. Takes a shot and that one's gonna bounce off the goaltender and up high. Nice shot Stays by Bo Bo Hunter on that one. And having it up here, number three who is not actually on my list here, number three for Brooklyn. Nonetheless, Brooklyn with the ball here. This is Murphy on the near side. Murphy takes a look, shoots, and another save by Jamison. As he stops Pilcher. Dougie Jamison looks dialed in now after giving up those three goals. You can see on that one, the Eyes really, uh, really glued onto that ball. Now Six Nations looking to reward Jamison's solid play with some goals, but just having some trouble penetrating that Brooklyn defense. And Brooklyn has it here. Here for Lochbury. Got it up for Kierman. Taking a look, still with it to Murphy. Wesley, Wesley trying to, bit of a jump on the near side, trying to catch Jamin short side, but can't do it. And now an opportunity there is going toward the net is Marshall Paula. And that was a fantastic stop by Hutchcraft on that one as Marshall Paulus came in and Marshall Paulus, uh, no stranger to score, uh, of course, with the Saskatchewan rush. Waters, now Murphy, he steps into the crease and Six Nations turning it over here and now a breakaway opportunity. Goes astray, is unable to control the ball with number 44. Joey Cupido. Austin Stats. Of course, Joey Cupido, one of the uh, the newest addition to the Chiefs. He was acquired in a trade with the Coburg Kodiaks prior to uh, the game last week. Now Wilman, Wilman taking a look. Shoot, stopped by Jamison. It's still loose. And that'll be grabbed up. And a stretch pass looking for Jamison. Cody Jamison on the other side. Nations here with the ball. Both teams making a couple of changes on the fly here. Of course, talking about Joey Capito, he uh, just recently won the National Lacrosse League title with uh, the Colorado Mammoths. So, championship pedigree all over the place on the floor here. It's passed up. Audible. Lost it there. Up here, Pilcher for Latchbury. Latchbury looking, trying to find some room. The shot clock not running on the near side here. There's five seconds left on the far side, but that's going to be grabbed up. And running up the other way is Hill. Hill passes it over, shoots, scores. 
Joey Cupido puts one in and it is 3-2. And that's the kind of play that uh, you're going to expect from Joey Cupido. He and uh, Looks like that's Owen Hill yep, with and, uh, that pass. It's him and Owen Hill. Again, two uh, two man play, a beautiful two on one. That was beautifully executed, and a nicely placed pass and a nicely placed shot by Joey Capito, who uh, again he had that first his first game as a, a chief in Coburg against the Kodiaks, and he's a welcome addition to the Chiefs lineup here. Now they're looking for more. Passed up. Looking over. 32 with a shot. Stopped by Hutchcraft. And now running up the other way is Kyle Waters. Passed up and looking for the reverse was Peyton Cormier. Leclerc. Leclerc trying to reverse, still has it. Passes it over. Fresh legs on here for Six Nations. Turned around, this is Austin Stats. Stats with a shot. A one hopper right in on Hutchcraft and he'll make the save. Under five minutes to go here in the first. It is a 3-2 game. Brooklyn leading Six Nations. It's the third matchup between these two teams this season. Mm -hmm. And the Chiefs winning uh, both uh, both matchups, and of course the the first game was the uh, bread and cheese game on uh, on our Victoria Day long weekend uh, on Six Nations is bread and cheese day. Uh, nice close game, and again another close game in Brooklyn is uh, the the one thing that you'll notice about MSL is uh, it, it's oh there's a goal. Nice shot. That's Vaughn Harris with his second of the game. And it was on a power play, so yep. Six Nations able to tie it. And, uh, maybe a small conversation going toward the bench. And that's one thing, and again, Cody Jamison to Vaughn Harris and Vaughn Harris making no mistake. That's going to be a, a pairing we'll talk about a lot tonight. But Vaughn Harris with that fresh purple mesh the stick it's looking pretty sweet and it looks like the new mesh jobs working tonight with a pair of goals and a whistle goes face-off violation on that one that's one of the the new rules that uh, MSL has implemented to kind of streamline with NLL and roll across and almost picking the top corner there Chief's still with it here though 12 seconds left on the shot clock. There's a shot. Hutchcraft with the save. And Alyssa's gonna go and a turnover. That's one thing you don't wanna do is have the Chiefs on the power play like we were saying on that last goal. They've got all sorts of firepower and they move that ball really quick. If you come to a game live, you can see that during the warmups, they just move the ball like it's nothing. This is fast-paced action and a turnover here. Running up the floor, number 23 takes a shot and that one stopped by Hutchcraft. As that was Liam LeClaire on and that opportunity. He had the legs, he just couldn't find it. Beautiful hustle play by Liam LeClaire. That one all started down to the other end when he knocked that loose ball, grabbed it and went all the way. And again, that's one of those things about this uh, Six Nations lineup is he's very athletic and very quick. Cormier evading some aggressive defense as he took the shot, but it went wide and Logan will take it over here. Finds Thompson. Thompson moves up. Into Brooklyn territory he is. A shot and another stop by Hutchcraft. A quick pass over, but Hutchcraft with a quick save. Six Nations though with it here again. It's three all with three minutes to go in the first. Half of the shot clock is gone. There's a shot. Trying to grab it here. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. 
Ball is bouncing around. It's still in there. Some aggressive defense being shown there, and that ball is going to go out of play. That's a great defensive stance by the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. As you can see, if you look back at that, you can see how they, they just gave the Chiefs absolutely nothing. They were just flat out. Oh, and now a turnover here and snatching it up here. Logan, Logan looking, shooting, and that one's going to go wide. It went off a stick, and another shot was taken there. I believe that was right. That got some wood on that, but it was set to stray. Brooklyn countering. There's a shot. That one goes wide of the goal. Couple of players hack at that, but the ball stays in play. Here's Murphy. Murphy overshoots and a low shot. Gets blocked and now here comes Six Nations the other way. Good movement of the ball here. Austin Stats. Stats with a shot. That one just barely goes wide. And now Stevens, a two-on-one turning into a two-on-two. Two. Stevens with a shot, looking for the top corner on the far side, but just missed. Austin Stats slowing the pace down with under 90 seconds to go here. The Chiefs looking to take the lead. Slick player on the far side. Up to the top. Brooklyn really doing a good job here. Stats <laughs> crashing the goal, trying to put that one in on the hop, but can't do it. And again, the air Stotts, Austin Stotts again, putting his body on the line. And the guy's a physical wonder, that's for sure. And he, he is definitely no fear on board that flight. This is Cormier. There's a shot by Williams, and that one's sent astray. 40 seconds to go in the period. Jameson not touching it, just leaving it go. Both teams leaving on the fly. Smart veteran play by Dougie Jameson in the Chiefs defense there. They didn't want to touch the ball. They wanted to wait for the clock to match the shot clock. And now we've got 20 seconds left in the uh, in the first period here. And you didn't want to, they didn't want to get the ball before that 30 second shot clock so they can work on that last shot. And of course, Dougie Jameson going to the bench in favor of the extra attacker here. So six men on here for the Chiefs. Ball bounces up high, but that is gonna do it here for the first. A 3-3 game, Six Nations and Brooklyn. Good period so far. It was. It, it was a very good period. And, and again, end to end action, both teams. That's something uh, that, that we can expect out of these two teams. And, and again, with the four team league, I was going to say earlier on in the period, with the four team league, uh, even even if there were six teams in the league, it's very tight. The parity in major series lacrosse it, it is very even. There are no there are no easy games in MSL anymore, and uh, that's something that the league is very happy about. That's something all the teams are very happy about because again, uh, watching competitive lacrosse and again watching the best players in the world, you can't beat it. We're gonna go to a quick break. This is Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. It's a 3-3 game.
Rogers Series Lacrosse here on Rogers TV. Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart. It's a 3-3 game between Six Nations and Brooklyn. Brooklyn, of course, taking a 2-0 lead. They were up 3-1 before Six Nations were able to tie things up at three. And Daryl, once again, just an entertaining period of lacrosse, to say the very least, both of these two teams. And I know you were you referenced it before, just the fact that there's only four teams in the league. You get to know your opponents very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. And, uh, and again, that's not a bad thing. And I guess that there's no secrets. Uh, and and again, even, uh, even with the six-team league or a five-team league uh, last year when we did the MSL Classic in Oakville, the five of the five of the teams participated and again no real secrets uh, everybody knows what the lineups are everybody knows what the protected lists are so everybody kind of knows what they're heading in for and and, and again this is it, this is a very unique season where there is a little bit of that unknown just on the in the respect that uh, we've essentially played or we haven't played two seasons, two full seasons. And in those two full seasons, the teams have drafted and protected players. So, and again, uh, the, especially in the Six Nations lineup, a lot of those young players that were protected or drafted or looked at are in the roster now. So they're not really unknowns because a lot of them played for the Six Nations Arrows, Six Nations Rebels, uh, Six Nations Rivermen. So they're... they're, they're and, and again, lacrosse is a very, very small world, so. And you look at the standings real quick here, of course. You know, it's we, what we saw last, uh, the last time we saw a season in 2019, uh, Peterborough and Six Nations, you know, kind of sort of the, the cream of the crop, if you will. We're starting to see that already. Both Peterborough and Six Nations at three and one, Brooklyn and Coburg both at one and three. Do you expect that to kind of be the theme this year, or do you see a little bit more parity happening than uh, what we're seeing there? So there, there already is a lot of parity, and and these, uh, the, the, I know it's a three and one, three and one, one and three, one and three, but really not indicative of uh, what's gone on so far. Uh, and and again, perfect example, a lot of one, two goal games, and uh, uh, Coburg's been knocking on the door on games, and even the, the uh, last game, Peterborough. Six Nations very close and again Brooklyn has been knocking on the door the game against Six Nations uh, a one goal game and a two goal game so it's it's one of those things that yeah it kind of looks like that but it, it, not really uh, and again I think uh, it's going to be a very tight season uh, would you say that Peterborough and Six Nations are the cream of the crop <laughs> being uh, being with the Six Nations organization I'd like to say but not necessarily uh, Brooklyn uh, for example over the last couple of years and under the uh, watchful eye of Brad MacArthur uh, they've drafted well they've uh, they, they, they've had tremendous drafts they've, uh, they they were very fortunate to have number one picks in two drafts they've had multiple first round picks in both drafts and and again their um, their their community system with the Whitby Warriors is very strong so they were able to protect a lot of really talented players now we're going to take a look here at just the upcoming games of course for six nations I mean, the turnaround's pretty small. June 30th, 8 o'clock, they'll play against the Peterborough Lakers. And then a little bit of a lull, of course, with that break with the international uh, competition coming up. Uh, of course, you move out over to July 10th and July 12th, July 16th. So there's, there's not much room in terms of give once you get back into it here in uh, in league play well and that that was one of the things and especially with what what had gone on behind the scenes and and uh, with a shortened schedule or with a shortened schedule with the four teams and and really scraping together a se the season with uh, with the four teams and getting a schedule and hats off to the four gms uh, and john webb uh, who's the the governor for the Cobra Kodiaks? Uh, hats off to him. He was the one that kind of took the reins on the schedule and had the master schedule. And the, the GMs were texting and emailing back and forth within a two day, within two three days, just trying to get this thing together because they knew how important it was. And like you said, 
with the with the, the Man Cup slated for I believe it's September 9th to 16th in the East. Uh, you had to you had to get that regular season in before a certain day because of course we have playoffs and uh, we haven't really discussed on how how that will go. I, I'm thinking it's going to be a best of five in the first round and best of seven in the second. We'll see. I'm not certain for sure, but that's how it has been in in seasons past. But and again, that's uh, they've had to really jam in these games because uh, uh, because. Uh, of course, with the the, the uh, World Games tournament in Birmingham, Alabama, and of course the Six Nations Chiefs have a giant uh, a giant number of players. I guess is that the best way to say it? A giant number, uh, a, a large number of players, I'll say. Yeah, let's, right? let's well, see. I'll, I'll be a broadcaster instead of a writer for a change. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the the Chiefs have a large number of players on that Haudenosaunee Nationals team. And, and of course, uh, Peterborough, Brooklyn, I believe, uh, also have players on Team Canada. So, uh, and again, Six Nations not the only team hurt by that, or it's not really hurt. It's a it's a tip of the hat of the the, the obvious talent in MSL. Uh, so, again, Dwayne Jacobs, the president, GM, coach uh, of the Chiefs really had to juggle the schedule and really top load the schedule here. And I know it was tough, but you know what? The Chiefs have a very young team, like I've said before. And I think they're relying on those young legs to have those back-to-backs. And, and again, they're playing in Peterborough on Thursday night. So uh, Sunday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. And that's the second second week in a row that the Chiefs have had to have three games in a week. So. Yeah, if it weren't if it weren't easy, it uh, wouldn't be worth it, right? <laughs> you gotta you gotta you gotta work for this kind of stuff. Well, and you know what? The the Man Cup is one of the the most cherished and toughest trophies to win in all of lacrosse, and uh, and, and these players wanted it, of course, not playing for two years, and, and again, the, the, there's a lot of community pride. That's the that's the one thing about. Uh, that's one thing about the uh, MSL and the, the Western Lacrosse Association as well. Uh, out west, that's the league out west. Uh, that's the that's the beauty of it. These guys are wanting to play for their communities, and uh, that's a big deal to them. And we're hoisting that Man Cup. Uh, if you're if you're from Six Nations, and you're hosting that or you're hoisting that Man Cup from. Uh, as a chief or if you're uh, a Whitby product or somewhere in the Durham region and, and, and hoisting that cup as a member of the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club, that's a huge, huge deal. So uh, a lot of pride on the line. Already underway here in the second period. Again, it is a 3-3 game and the Chiefs have the ball here. Taking a look is number 17, who I don't have on the program here, but Moved over. Thompson. That is Cody Ward for BLC. Or brother, that was Jameson. And ball was launched up high and sent up the other way. Barnable. Barnable looks and shoots and sends that one wide. And that's one thing you'll notice with uh, both of these goaltenders is Hutchcraft use that stretch pass. Both of these goaltenders are known for for throwing it up the floor. And a big shot and a big goal. Kyle Waters found the side and he puts it by the goaltender. And Brooklyn retakes the lead. That's a heck of a shot by Waters. Wow. He sizzled that one as we're going to see the replay on that one. Right out of the corner. Used a little bit of the skin off the defender. That was Kevin Owen Hill up top there, and he used a little bit of the screen and looked like Dougie wasn't able to see it on that. It was just a simple shot, but when you're when you're shooting almost 100 miles an hour or probably over 100 miles an hour and that in close, it's going to be tough to stop. Seems like Jameson almost was second guessing it. He wasn't playing as high to the top of the crease as he might have wanted to. Mm -hmm. 
No, nope, that's a that's a great observation. He really wasn't challenging on that one. He was just kind of relying on the reflexes and, and the read on that one. And, uh, uh, next time that happens, you'll probably see him take that step out. And a one-handed by Lansbury. And Jamison will move that ball up. It's number 44. There's a, a collapse in front. And Brooklyn with the ball here. And surprise, surprise, Austin Stotts diving into the full mouth area, putting the body on the line. And we'll move the ball around here once again. Number 53. Sent up and shot in close. And it'll be stopped once again. That's a heck of a save on Peyton Cormier. Cormier, he, he knows how to put that ball in the net, and then Dougie Jamison swallowed that one up very easily. It's Leclerc. Leclerc looking, trying to get around the defense, but he's going to have to retreat. Going into the corner now. There's a shot kicked away. And now moving up is Brooklyn. It's number 45. Still has the ball. And Jacob Sanders. He's patrolling around. That ball is knocked down, but just coming off the bench. And there's a shot, and that's going to go in. Caught Jamison off guard, and a low shot goes five hole. That was a beautiful effort by Brady Kernan. And Brady Kernan, that's his fourth goal of the season. Uh, and, uh, and again, one of those local products. We'll see the replay here, and just a quick play. And Kernan just with the pit, fights off the defender, and that scoop shot. That uh, didn't even go five hole. It caught no. Jamison going down and it just went over the leg. Almost surprised Jamison on that. It looked like Jamison was going to his left and, and Kernan with a beautiful shot to the right. And, and again, oh, when he has a big that, shove and a shot on that, and there's going to be a cross check. And again, Brady Kernan on that one with that scoop shot. It's a, it's a very elusive shot because you can't really get that read because it's kind of coming out of nowhere because it's coming off the backhand. As, uh, the former Whitby Warriors, or sorry, the, the former Toronto Beaches OJL player with the goal for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. So now a power play here for Brooklyn. A 5-3 lead. And a look to get things started. Murphy, he's working the perimeter here. Murphy at the top, takes it back. It's a look, gets it in. Murphy with it again, shoots, and that one goes low and off the boards and wide. And a stretch pass here. Sutherland, or rather that's Cupido. Cupido just holding on to the ball and killing off some time. Austin Stats. The aggression being shown here once again. He's got two men on him, <laughs> still with the ball. Austin Stats, three on one. And that ball gets knocked loose. And some pushing and shoving after the play. A little bit of ragdoll action, they'll call that. As Austin just simply just absorbs the abuse of three BLC uh, defenders and uh, he'll just pretty much absorb that try to kill off the penalty That's something you'll see as you try and kill off the penalty uh, you, you try to go wide you spread the floor a little bit and then you grab on the ball and hold on for dear life Ball sent up Williams with the intercept Williams back in That was gonna be knocked away right toward the Brooklyn bench And Williams with it again Pilcher Passes it up, Pilcher, no, Pilcher with it now. Takes a look, shoots, and that one's gonna go off a of body. Brooklyn's still with it. There's a shot, and that one's gonna go off a of body and wide of the goal. 21 seconds left on the power play for Brooklyn. 
Williams. Pitch and catch. Going to the near side. There's a shot. That one's going to go off a body and bounce all the way back into Brooklyn territory. The penalty just about to expire. Back to five aside. Williams passes it up. It's Kiernan. Kiernan with a shot. It went off the frame. Stays out. And a couple of shots being delivered there. And some pleasantries being discussed between Kel and LeClaire. And the tempers are flaring, and I think there's going to be a call against Six Nations, I do believe. It's going to be Mark McLaughlin. No, he's going to walk back. I think the penalty boxes are about to open here, the officials. And you're seeing the replay there, just the pushing and shoving, a couple of extra shoves. Again, the referee is trying to make sure that there's control, and that looks like that's number 17. Yeah, that is indeed Mark McLaughlin. And he's going to go for an early shower. Unless it's just a 10. No, it's, he's going straight to the bench, for, uh, straight to the locker room. 14.22 to go here. You have to think he's getting a game. Four minutes on the clock. So it's going to be a four-minute power play for Brooklyn. With 14.22 to go in the second, it is a 5-3 lead for the visitors. And again, being behind is something, uh, nothing new to the Chiefs. The Chiefs playing behind a lot this season, despite the record. And it will be Kobe Whitcombs sitting to serve the penalty. And right away, good bounce up. This is Cupido. Cupido puts it off the frame and it doesn't go in. Cupido just looked and he <laughs> knew he had Hutchcraft beat, but didn't have the post beat on that one. My goaltender's best friend comes up again, Dyson Williams. The goaltender's union, uh, that's a save. Lance the shot. That one stuck under between the legs of. Jameson and he's able to keep that one out. Harnett just going to wait for his mates to get changed. He's going to go straight to the bench. Couple of shots there. And again, Cody Some Jameson big taking the uh, the old ragdoll action there. Just taking the abuse and moving up. Still with it, there's a shot of one hopper right in on goal and Hutchcraft with the save. Didn't really have to move all that much. Very physical player, Cody Jamison. Uh, again, one of the best players in the world. And that's uh, a good reason why he's able to absorb that, that contact, but he's also able to take it. And on that shot, you were able to see how he absorbs it to create space for himself and to get that shot off. And a wide shot by Pilcher. Now Six Nations looking to move up with it. Up ahead, intercepted though. Breakaway, opportunity, and that one stopped by Jamison. Wow. Dougie Fresh getting the job done. And he sent that one into the rafters. Trying to stretch past, but he put that one a little too high. Brady Kiernan almost with his second of the night. And a beautiful stop by Dougie Jamison, who just absorbed that ball. And again, he's a big guy, but he looked huge in goal on that one. Brooklyn looking for something here. Shot goes off a of body, stays away from the goal. And Moore's pushing and shoving after Six Nations takes over. That one's moved up. Opportunity oh, oh, oh. looms and into the crease he goes, but it stays out. What a beautiful save by Hutchcraft. He used his heel to stop that as Austin Stotts again went diving in. And again, Hutchcraft kind of know that he sees Austin Stotts coming at you. You kind of know what's happening on that one. And 
Hutchcraft making himself look huge and using that heel to make the save. That one had the corner picked down low, but Hutchcraft better on the play on that one. And an opportunity there in front. Bounces off of Jameson and now Brooklyn with the turnover. Williams, Williams taking a look, passes it over. There's a shot blocked and another shot he scores. Brady Kiernan on the rebound, and it's 6-3 Brooklyn. Brady Kiernan has really been involved in this one as we've called his name out a couple of times as we see the replay here. And again, a nice save by Dougie Jamison on that. But you know what? It's all about getting that loose ball. And Kiernan, Johnny on the spot to get the loose ball, was aware to get it. Took the extra two steps and made no mistake on that. He got the better angle here. Yeah, just a couple of extra steps, just enough to get around the defender. Absolutely, and Kiernan, a uh, very smart player. He made those two steps to make Dougie Jamison move side to side to create that space and uh, that hole. Of course, you're going to go against Dougie Jamison straight on. You're not going to score on him, but you make him move, there's holes in there. The Chiefs have some work to do here, but they're still stuck on defense inside. And Jamison with the save. And some pushing and shoving. The ball knocked loose. Thompson scoops it up. Thompson going in. Two passes it over. Nungo, Th Nungo Thompson, one of those young athletic players. And that was perfectly on display. A very physical player. Leclerc takes a shot wide. Looking for some room with stats. Passes it over. There's a shot. That one bounces up high. Stays in play though off the boards. A bouncing ball, and that is going to be a shot violation. You really have to hand it to the BLC defense. They've they've done a great job containing the Chiefs in the in the their end. Uh, the Chiefs not really getting anything inside on Hutchcraft. Everything's had to be from the outside, with the exception of Austin Stutz diving in. Uh, but the Chiefs really haven't been able to get inside, and that's all a credit to the BLC defense. Kiernan put that one off of the helmet of Williams. Williams with it now and shoots that one wide. And the Chiefs take it over. You'll notice here on the defensive set that BLC really does a great job of spreading Six Nations out here, not really getting anything inside unless they're able to on this offensive set. Whitcomb gets it over. There's a shot and bounces off the post, off the goaltender and out. Wild scramble taken here by Brooklyn. Guess who on that shot? Austin Stotts. He has been all <laughs> over. And they're waiting, and they're shooting, and that's going to be stopped by Jamison. That's a great save. That was fight for Brooklyn there. There's Thompson. Thompson walking up gingerly. Keeps it here. And the whistle's going to go, and Brooklyn able to turn it over, and it's a 2-on-0, a 3-on-0. There is a chance in front, and Jamison <laughs> with another save. Brick wall, brick wall, Dougie Jamison. Wow, 3-on-0, and, and no sweat. He lifts the lid up after, and no big deal on that one. And now the Chiefs looking to counterattack here. The ball's still loose, and... Uh, back and forth, I believe, there. It's going to be Brooklyn with the ball here. This is Lansbury. Lansbury. A loose ball. Snatched up here. The ball's going to bounce right back to Williams. Williams looking to set up. Sends it over for Pilcher. Pilcher looking over. The ball moving very quickly there, and Cormier shoots that one just wide. And it bounces into the Brooklyn bench. Both teams have really settled in defensively here. And of course, two real different styles of defense, if, you, if you've noticed down, uh, like I've talked about a lot, how, how BLC really spreads things out and, and doesn't allow uh, the Chiefs to get inside. 
whereas the Chiefs are a lot more physical and they'll come at you in different ways and, and it's really interesting to see again it's more of a a man-on-man -man almost where they're they're really challenging you to come out and be physical with their physical play with the sticks with the body and of course uh, BLC taking a, a, a much more patient approach to it but a, a very smart approach and, and again saving energy both teams getting some instructions the old water break that's the one thing in the in the summer it gets hot oh you can say that again <laughs> so usually usually midway through each period uh, one of the goalies will usually signal over to the referee, yeah, it's time, and that time is Dougie Jameson saying, yeah, I want a drink. So he and Hutchcraft getting to the bench, and of course, uh, a little bit of a breather for the players and the coaches to, to draw something up here. As the Chiefs trailing by three, Wilman moving up. Wilman over, and loose ball goes right in on Jameson. Whitcomb, Whitcomb looking for some room. Whitcomb was looking for the net, but he got crossed up at a pass in front, a bit of a one-timer. Stopped up top by Hutchcraft. And now Brooklyn shoots in. That's gonna be stopped once again by Jamison. That was Waters on the play. He's already scored in this game, looking for more. These two goaltenders have really settled in right now. I'm glad nobody scored on that one because the last time I said someone settled in, there was a goal scored on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Leclerc passed over. That one's moved up, shooting down low, and look, there's another chance, and that one's going to be stopped. And guess who is in the middle of that? That's a perfect example of a hustle play right there. Is Audie Austin Stotts comes in with the shot. He shoots from outside, but again, a young la la lacrosse player is a perfect example. You take that shot, you don't give up on it. You take that shot, you follow up on it, and you might get that second opportunity, and that was a perfect example of that. Leclerc trying to find Harris. Harris passes it up, passes it over, and there's a goal as Six Nations inching closer, and guess who's got the goal? Austin Stad <laughs> stops. Well, look at the replay on this one, and again, in the corner, they pass outside, and they're looking for Audie tonight. Audie is, uh, he's got the hot stick, so they're looking out, and that, that, that pass from one in the corner all the way over to the other side. Austin Stotts buried that one past Hutchcraft, and we've got ourselves a 6-4 lead for BLC. And now the Chiefs looking for more. Thompson looking, shooting, trying to find the far side. Another shot by Jamison. Cody unable to put it in. And now Brooklyn counterattacking here. Sanders. They gave that goal to Marshall Powellis, but I'm pretty sure it was Austin Stotts at least. Pretty sure it was Stotts. <laughs> Yes, I had my head turned. Uh, I know the green, uh, the green and black gloves of Marshall Palace, but uh, that looked like uh, Austin Stotts on that one. We'll have to look at that again. I, I've got the trifocals, so you never know. They might be playing tricks on me tonight. <laughs> Two on one opportunity here for the Chiefs. Passing. Cupido over, shoots, looking for the low side on Hutchcraft. And Hutchcraft able to protect the bottom of the nets he keeps that one out the chiefs though still with it that's a austin perfect stotts. example of the world-class uh, riley hutchcraft and austin stotts shoving his man down in front of the crease and the brooklyn defenders taking exceptions and pushing and shoving there this game really getting physical austin stotts with a shot stopped by hutchcraft I guess it was Marshall Palace. My, uh, my, my trifocals were, uh, were failing me on that one. So Marshall Palace with that goal. McClellan sends that one over and goes off. Amps over the one hopper. Stretching out, there's a shot off the side of the goal. 
Yeah, big collision there in front of the Brooklyn bench. More pushing and shoving, but Brooklyn still with it. Now in front, there's a shot, he scores! That's Dyson Williams, number 15, in front of the goal. He found some room with five minutes to go. Brooklyn extends the lead. That was a beautiful play by Dyson on that. And again, I, I think they've got a little bit of a book on, on Dougie Jamison where they, they get the ball in the corner. They're, they're moving him, making him move and opening that hole, especially right up the middle. A 7-4 game, the visitors will get, as we mentioned earlier, third meeting of the season between these two squads. It has been nations getting the better of Brooklyn, but it is Brooklyn trying to turn the tide here. Sent across. And for some room, Cormier passing it over. This is Pilcher. Pilcher getting bodied in behind. Pilcher with a turnaround shot from behind the goal. And the ball is going to come bouncing to center. It's Thompson. Thompson looking for some room. Thompson still with it. Thompson looking over. A bouncing ball. That one's going to be knocked away. With 15 seconds left on the shot clock. And Darrell, one thing I'm really seeing here between these two teams is you're not really seeing too many shot clock violations. These two teams seem to be really going at it. Well, exactly. And, and uh, that's kind of indicative of both of these teams, they really like to set up shop and get that shot off. But but again, when the shot clock violation comes, they, it's great defense. But also on that other turn, you have some great defense. And that's a goal. Austin Stotts got that one. That wasn't Marshall Palace. No, it no, was, not. was not. And now Palace. Logan was with some pushing and shoving here with Ward after the play. But Austin Stotts. Got that ball right on the run. You're going to see the replay here. And again, the Chiefs in transition. This is something something that, that you're going to see a lot of this year. And, and it's a pass, pass. There it is. And two-man play and a beautiful quick stick on that one as Stotts buries it. And again, Marshall Palace. Not getting the goal in that one. But as I was saying before the goal was scored, about the, and you asked about the shot clocks, that, that, that's a tribute to the defense as well, where the defense is really creating a lot of loose balls in this game. A lot of, there's a lot of knock sticks, a lot of drop balls, and that's all as a result of great defense uh, and the physical play on both sides. Goaltenders getting themselves a water break. I love the sportsmanship. I love the sportsmanship, the brotherhood between the goaltenders. Uh, after the water break, especially, you can see it. The, the, the two goalies giving a little fist bump to each other, saying, hey, way to go. And, uh, and of course, we, we got a 7-5 game right now in favor of BLC. And, uh, a pretty tight game as part of usual in major series of lacrosse here. When you think about goaltenders, I mean, could be lacrosse, could be hockey, could be soccer. I mean, all, all kinds of team sports that have goaltenders, you know, it's a fraternity, right? It's, yep. they're the only ones that are brave enough to stand in front of a moving target <laughs> and just absolutely get pelted time in and time out for the sake of trying to keep their team into it. You're talking to an old, uh, old uh, hockey goalie, so same, yep. Same here. Same here, and uh, still in beer league. Those uh, the, those 20 year olds are shooting uh, shooting on this 48 year olds sometimes. Hey, and, uh, you know, what the heck am I thinking? Hey, you might have all that padding, but sometimes <laughs> you take them in the right spot, and those shots can still hurt. Passed in front. That, that pass intend, uh, intended for Bo Bo Hunters. Von Hare. <laughs> Leclerc turnaround chance. We've got ourselves a delayed penalty here on the play as Dougie Jamison saunters down to the bench in favor of the extra man. No shot clock on now. 2.50 remaining here in the second period. Brooklyn seven. Six Nations five looking for more. The hand is still up. Cody Jamison passes it over. Here's LeClaire. Up in front, there's a shot. 
Touchcraft with a big save. And we're going to see a replay on that Spinorama chance. <laughs> but, and, and again, it's the creativity of lacrosse. So. Man, I love it. Uh, that's the one thing that you'll notice, especially if you're not a, uh, not a, not a, a watcher of lacrosse, and then this is a, this is your first time watching, your second time watching. You'll see a lot of creativity here, and even for the hardcore fans, that's what that's what hooks you to this this beautiful game is that uh, the creativity is incredible. And uh, and again, when you have world class athletes on the floor. And uh, they're doing something they love, and they, they, especially in this league, they, they, they allow that for that creativity. Shot block in front. Jamison trying to grab the rebound. Some pushing and shoving. The ball's still loose. Snatched up here, still on the power play. Leclerc looking, gets it up high. Rebound oh. scores! Cody Jamison, and it is a one. A one goal game. It's jammer time here at the ILA with Cody Jamison. Scoring his first of the night. And again, that's just Johnny on the spot on that one. Jam we'll call it Jammer on the spot. As Leclerc with the, the shot saved by Hutchcraft bounces off the, the back of the boards. Like just a fortuitous bounce here yes. right to him. But again, that's a, that's the awareness, the, the lacrosse IQ, the lacrosse awareness of Cody Jamison uh, out on out up front. The one thing that you notice on that play, Cody had his stick out and his eyes glued to that ball. And if it hit the back of the net off the carom, that's okay. But it right into the stick, cradled it, scored, and we've got ourselves a one goal game with less than two minutes to go here in the second. Austin Stotts looking for the tie. But misses the net. Ball's loose, gonna be scooped up here. Some fresh legs on here for the Chiefs. Under 90 seconds to go in the second. Looking, shooting, stopped by Hutchcraft. And the Chiefs still with it. Still threatening. Whitcomb got it up top. Now it's on the far side, moving in. Wisconsin again. And that's Hill. Or rather, that's Vaughn Harris. Vaughn Harris has the ball, still wow. shoots it from his keister. And that one's going to be stopped. A couple of opportunities there for Six Nations. Under a minute to go. Vaughn Harris and Kobe Whitcomb with a, a, a couple of shots and uh, Hutchcraft bettering them on those. But again, that hustle on that is Kobe Whitcomb and Vaughn Harris basically on the side on the sides of their butts and getting that shot up. 30 seconds to go in the second. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. This is Leclerc. Leclerc looking for some room. Leclerc looking for a shooting line. He finds one, gets it over, a rebound, stopped. Ball is still loose, 10 seconds to go. And the whistles are gonna go. And we've got ourselves a timeout on the floor. BLC calling the timeout, a smart move. 9.7 to go here in the second period. And the BLC brain trust wanting to get that last final play and instead of rushing down and trying to rush for that shot you might as well stop things slow it down get possession of the ball half at at half the floor and get that last shot off get, the, get the extra man on as well absolutely the goaltender still and onto the bench riley hutchcraft who's uh, been sensational in this game both goaltenders really absolutely and again world-class goaltending and, and you'll see that across the board uh, and that, that's the incredible thing about major series and across every team uh they, these are uh they, these are NFL all-star teams for for a better sense of the word because uh, like i said you've got uh You've got Dougie Jamison from El who plays for Albany. Warren Hill plays for Halifax. Riley Hutchcraft plays for the Toronto Rock. <laughs> Nick DeMood, who's on the bench, plays for the Pan they City Lacrosse Club. All of the NLL, they're all world class. And again, uh, the, the shooters are showing that they're world class as well with the 7 6 score and 9.7 to go here in the second. 
We'll see what Brooklyn has set up here in the final 10 seconds. Five left, looking for an opportunity and unbelievable defense as that one's gonna be shot down. And that will do it here for the second. So you kind of saw the setup there by Brooklyn, just a quick strike opportunity, trying to find it to the right and just seeing a man cutting right into the middle. It seems like that was just gonna be that set play and yep. try that quick shot at the end. Absolutely, and that's a, that's exactly what that was. They made that cut to, to get that inside pass and they got the pass off. But as you see, the Chiefs defense collapsed in. They gave them that room to cut in and then all of a sudden, four Chiefs defenders swarmed in, not allowing a shot. It is 7-6, the visitors lead the home side. Brooklyn looking for their first win of the season against Six Nations. We'll see what happens with the third period. We'll be back. You are watching lacrosse action here on Rogers TV. series lacrosse here on Rogers TV. It's the second intermission. Six Nations trailing Brooklyn seven to six. My name is Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart and Daryl we'll get to the action in just a second and what happened in the first two periods of play but I want to direct everybody's attention to what we're seeing <laughs> on the floor right now. A gaggle of youngsters being able to try out the sport and warm up their shots, if you will. I mean, it, it's really a, it's really a sight to behold. I, I love this. It, it really is, Mark. It's uh, it's one of those things. And, and, and again, uh, I was fortunate enough to be on Oxford or uh, What's Up Oxford today. One of the one of the Rogers affiliates in Oxford County, uh, and they were asking about what are some of the things about lacrosse? Uh, what are some of the neat things about lacrosse? And and this was a perfect example. This was one of the examples I, I, I spoke about. Uh, what other sport is there where you have an intermission and there's just kids on the floor? It, it, it really is incredible. It, it, on Six Nation, uh, you know what? Lacrosse is a, a way of life and you have little boys, little girls, I uh, all 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 ages. Uh, you've got the one uh, one kid out here with his traditional woody stick. You got girls out there with their uh, their their girl uh, their girl sticks. 
Uh, it, it's fantastic. There's little one-on-one -on -one games out here. It, it, it really is awesome to see. And, and you come here to Six Nations, you, you experience that. That's part of the, 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 the experience here at the ILA. But you go to other barns, and a, a perfect example is the PMC in Peterborough, where you have a picture a game like this, and you have two, over 2,000 people at the game uh, where the Peterborough Peets play and uh, the home of the Lakers in the summer and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids on the floor and it's it's amazing and, and again some of these uh, some of these kids are going to be the next Chiefs or they're, they're going to be the next member of the BLC or, or Cobra Kodiaks or, or, or Peterborough Lakers Oakville Rock they might be they might get to be a Haudenosaunee National or a, a a member of Team Canada. I, so, like how, I like how you mentioned the wooden sticks. I, my father actually played the cross growing up. Still has the wooden stick. Still has a story. He was playing in the you know mid mid to late 70s. They're still awesome. have, I still have that thing as a souvenir. And, yeah. You know, when you think about a lacrosse stick, for some people that don't know about lacrosse, haven't played lacrosse, they might think, oh, it's, it's a basket to hold the ball. It's uh -uh. not that easy to hold on to the ball. No, no, not at all, especially with the old Woody, and it's kind of cool, uh, interesting story. I, I think it was Vaughn Harris, when he first came into the league, he, he was playing for the Peterborough Lakers, actually, and played, played in the Man Cup for the Lakers, and uh, he, he used the Woody out west and, and of course that's one of the nuances uh, of uh, e the Western Lacrosse Association the major series lacrosse uh, we're allowed to use the wood stick here uh, out west they they're not uh, they, they're not so in favor of it so uh, they, you have the odd player will use it and, and again they'll use it uh, and Von Harris, I believe he scored a goal in the Man Cup with the wood stick. And, and, and again, Tioke and Anico, last year during the uh, MSL Classic, I believe he had a wood stick. Uh, he was using it for face-offs, I think. And he ended up scoring a goal or two with it. And, and again, that's just Tioke and Anico being Tioke and Anico. So. <laughs> but it, it really is cool to see. And, and of course, the tradition of the game, the, uh, the way of life. Uh, and, and playing for the creator, it really is something special, and, and it really is on di in, on display here at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. Okay, let's take a look at what has happened here in this game so far. Again, it is a 7-6 game in favor of Brooklyn. We've got uh, Peyton Cormier. He's got two goals. He's leading the way for BLC. He's got two. Uh, he's got two, and so does Brady Kiernan. Uh, one goal going to Austin Murphy. Dyson Williams has one, and Bryce Tolmy has one. And down to the other side, we've got Vaughn Harris. We were talking about him. He's got the hat trick already. He's leading the way with three goals. And Cody Jamison, of course, scored that goal late in the second period. He's got one, but he's also got three assists. And of course, that's a huge part of his game. Of course, drawing crowds. Uh, the, the guy's a legend already. He's a legend. And uh, so he's always drawn a crowd. And that's a perfect example of that. And Austin Stotts, who's been all over the place, has won tonight. And that latest goal there that you just saw was, of course, uh, Joey Cupido. You know, we or, got rather, Joey, uh, or rather, Joey that was Cupido's Bryce Tolme. As well, yeah. yeah, some good, solid goals, some of them on the break. And some of them, just like that one there, just a great setup. And again, that's the creativity of this game, and especially playing at the highest level here in, in major series lacrosse. You have that creativity, and this is just a perfect example. It is that howitzer that beat Dougie Jameson on that one. Maybe one that he wanted to come back and uh, have, uh, have back, but there's the creativity. There's Kiernan's first goal and that scoop shot, and that was just beautiful. I love it. Brooklyn has pretty much had the advantage throughout this game when it comes to the scoreboard. They got on the board early, and Six Nations, they've been sort of playing the catch-up game a lot more in this game. What do they have to do here in the third to really tighten things up? Maybe take the lead and actually try to hold on to that lead. I don't know if it's a theme for the season. I'm not sure. The, the, the old ha the hashtag for, for the, the Chiefs is heat up. And that's something that they've tended to do late. Uh, 
in every game that they've played so far. Um, they, they, they've been known to have, kind of play from behind most of the most of the time this season, actually, which is uh, something that you haven't seen from the Chiefs teams in the past, but they've just had this knack for being behind in the third period, coming back, and, and again, last week against uh, Brooklyn was a perfect example in Brooklyn last Wednesday. I think uh, the BLC was up three goals with seven minutes to go. And the Chiefs just chipped away, chipped away, chipped away, and tied the game late. And then an overtime winner. And again, they did the same thing uh, in Peterborough as well. And, and it's just been a, almost a trademark of the Six Nations Chiefs this season. We'll see what they can do here in the final 20, the third period. Just about to get underway here. On Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart, and it will be Brooklyn that will start off with the ball. Brooklyn seven, Six Nations six. As Brooklyn moves around the ball. Moving around here is Wesley. There's a shot, that one goes wide. It goes off of LeClaire. But Brooklyn still with it. And a good stop made by the goaltender, Dougie Jamison. This is Harry Stotts. Finds LeClaire, or rather Austin Stotts. Moving around in front of the crease. Austin Stotts with a shot. That one bounces off the goaltender and a shot right in front at the end. Austin Stotts a little slow to get up as Brooklyn with the ball here once again. And again, that was a beautiful save by Hutchcraft. It, it didn't look like much on that, but he showed a ton of poise. He just stood there and let the, let the ball absorb into him. And it was a beautiful save. And right around the other side, Kyle Waters getting stopped by Dougie Jamison. Jamison had to look behind him to make sure that ball didn't squeeze through him. Six Nations looking for the response. Moved around, ball bounces off of Hutchcraft. And now quickly they move up. There's a shot, and that one's going to be stopped with the toe. Brian Barnable. Brian Barnable, rather. And now a big scrum along the boards here. Pushing and shoving, trying to get this ball loose. It's still in there. They're still trying to jam it loose. The official right on top of the play, and Thompson comes away with it for the Chiefs. Thompson. Nungo Thompson, he's one of those players. He's just a gritty, gritty guy. And he, he proved a lot to the uh, Halifax Thunderbirds brass this season in his rookie or uh, with the Thunderbirds this year. And he was he was fantastic. And again, one of those trademark moments of the season. Got into a scrap and just licked the blood off you know, just to show how tough he is. Trying to counter, this is Wilman. Wilman's just gonna wait. Wilman, 15 seconds left on that shot clock, but that one's going to be intercepted. Le 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 uh, that defensive stance, Kellen LeClaire with the with the the huge physical play on the BLC Here's offensive player. Passed up to the top, right on the far side, trying to cut in out in front. That ball still loose. There's an opportunity right in front, snatched up there by Paulus. Paulus with it here again. LeClaire just leaves it there for the captain, Jamison. Back little, to LeClaire. Little attempt to at the hidden ball trick there on the on the white. Uh, LeClaire with a shot, stop, rebound out in front, and another stop made by Hutchcraft. Bo oh, Bo Hunter. Paying the price inside on that one as he tried to scoop the, the, the loose ball and get a shot off as he's walking gingerly here. Here's the, the play, Cody Jamison with it up top. There's the shot, and Bo Bohunter grabbing that Lucy. And that aggressive play there by number 29. It didn't catch the name on the score sheet here, but he is off for two minutes. 
And the Chiefs have the power play. So Braden Power will sit for two or less. Austin Stotts with it. Stotts shoots, stopped by Hutchcraft. And now Brooklyn on the counter. Tolmy, Tolmy's just gonna wait. He'll leave it back here for Wilman. An exchange of personnel here for Brooklyn. Trying to kill off some time. Just under 16 minutes to go here in the third. It is Brooklyn seven. Six Nations six as that ball comes bouncing all the way back. Interesting story here. Just looking at it, peering into the corner down to the uh, by the Six Nations Chiefs bench. And we have a couple of local police officers in the corner. One of them. One of the defenders for the Six Nations Chiefs, Tyson Bomberry, looks like Tyson couldn't play tonight because he's on duty here in the community. A working man's league, as they say. As Tomey moves up, Tomey one on one, a player coming in, Tomey with a shot stopped by Jamison. Wilman. Wilman looking, trying to get around Kaminga. And he just gets it to Murphy. Murphy holding on to it. So he just waits for his mates to get set up. Murphy was faking the shot, looking for the pick play. And looking for Keeman going through the crease area. Thompson, though, gets it up. It's Powell. Got it to Stotts. The ball being moved around. Jamison over. Shoot. Stopped. And a rebound. Loose ball. And it's going to stay in the crease. That one's sent up now. Moving around is number 17 in white. Tried to find. All around very well. Here's Wesley. Well, another, that was going to be stopped. And, uh, sorry about that. And another perfect example of the Chiefs' defense being really physical and really, really giving BLC nothing to shoot at. Is that's we were talking about the shot clock expiring, but uh, that was down to about five for the second possession in a row. So the Chiefs' defense really going to work here. Oh my goodness. We're having some technical difficulties here up in the booth, but Nungo Thompson. Physical difficulties there for that stick. Nungo Thompson with the with the low, we'll call that the low cross check on Murphy, I think it was, and <laughs> he snapped the stick in half. Yeah, the broken twig being collected there by the official. Again, it's still a 7-6 game. Both of these two teams showing some relentless defense. Cody Jamison, though, over for Stotts. Stotts with a shot stopped by goaltender Hutchcraft. Austin Stotts again, passes it over. Looking for some room as Jamison back to Stotts. Shoots, stopped by the goaltender once again. Hutchcraft and that ball's gonna be safe. bouncing all the way back down. Man, he's been dialed in Hutchcraft. And again, Stotts kind of limping back after putting his body on the line again. Lanchbury over, shoots. Stopped by Jamison. Man, oh man, the defense on both sides really picked up right now. Turn around, falls on the far side. That's Dyson Williams. Williams shoots down low. A uh, one hopper goes wide. And now Logan, two on one developing here. Logan looking over, big block. What a chance and what an intercept. That was a great defensive play. Back over. 
Dyson Brooklyn Williams on coming. the defensive play. Brooklyn continuing to hold off the defense. Shot down low, wide of the goal. And we're not seeing too much scoring because we're seeing a lot of shots go wide. Here's Kaminga. Kaminga, over. Didn't catch the name there, but that's going to be passed over. Leclerc. Leclerc into the corner. Leclerc finding Austin Stotts. Stotts looking for some room. Stotts still with it with a shot. And one bounces off the side of the arm of Hutchcraft. Ball scooped up here by Brooklyn. Barnable will just go off. Twisting and turning as Williams. Passes it over, but too far for Lanchbury. And this is Jerry Stotts. Into the orange meshed. Jameson. Jameson still with it. Over, shooting underneath the goaltender, but it stays out. Ball, ball is still bouncing, but Hutchcraft able to keep that one out. And Hutchcraft up to the task on that one. He's really, he's really played well tonight. Here's Murphy. Murphy looking, trying to find some room. Some big bodies converging in front of the goal as Brooklyn looks for a shooting lane. They're having trouble looking for it. Murphy with a quick shot, he scores! Oh. Murphy finds the bottom of the goal. Make it 8-6, Brooklyn. That was a beautiful shot by Murphy. He just kind of worked his magic and he worked in and out as we'll see the, the replay on that. Is he just kind of went in and out. And there's the shot right there and a bounce shot. And Eludes that, Dougie Jamison. That was a beautiful shot. And that started with Lanchbury here. Just a simple yep. play going toward the side, trying to almost even fake looking for that short, angle, short side shot. Finds Murphy in alone. Absolutely. And, and again, using the defender as a screen, and Dougie Jamison really didn't have much help on that. He couldn't help himself on that one because, again, with the screen and the, the shot coming in that fast, very hard to react to. And they're looking for more here. Lanchbury, Brooklyn with a little fire in their step here now after that latest goal. Here's Hill. Six Nations looking to respond. Austin Stotts. Stotts looking, trying to find a shooting lane over. Shoot, stopped by Hutchcraft. Still in possession of Six Nations though. Stotts with it again. Stotts over, shoots, another save by wow. Hutchcraft. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was a beaut. Just showing his athleticism going side to side. Palace got it over, shot up high, and it will go out of play. And again, the Chiefs, uh, no stranger to coming back, but uh, when you're, uh, you're playing against a guy that's hot like Hutchcraft, it's gonna make the job even harder. Looking over, oh, there's man. a big goal. Right away, Dyson Williams streaking down the right side. He had everybody going toward him, but he said, uh-uh, I don't care. I'm still shooting it, and he hit pay dirt. That is a beautiful individual effort. Look at that. And he saw the defender coming over, so he had to get the shot off before the, before the stick got to him, and again, Showing great athleticism, just running the floor and placing the ball by Dougie Jamison on that one. You saw the formation of Six Nations there too, and they were blocking him way out to the outside. He had Murphy on the inside, who was all alone. They were but trying he, was to, he was still able to make the individual effort. Well, and the de defense doing the doing what they were supposed to do by trying to cut off that pass, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, odds are, when you get a one-on-one -on -one with Dougie Jameson, it's going to hit him. But that one, it hit him and went in. Yeah, sometimes even the best of plays just isn't enough. And again, world-class shooting, Murphy. We got a little Hulk Hogan playing in here. Very nice, very nice. Uh, better watch it. I might have uh, do the old 
Do you hear me? I don't know. Maybe the ultimate warrior might show up here <laughs> with something to say, brother. <laughs> Jameson over inside. Stott scores. <laughs> Stott's mania running wild here. <laughs> That's for sure. Air Audi through the air, and that all started with Cody Jameson and <laughs> Cody Jameson and Austin Stott's that two-man game today. Beautiful dump pass, and Air Audi over the shoulder. Right the before net. he made contact oh, man. with the ground. And you know what? This is something that Austin Stutz does 12 months of the year almost, and he makes a living doing it. And, and you can see why in the National Lacrosse League, you know, one of the elite goal scorers in the world, and that's uh, fully on display on that goal. So Stotts makes it 9-7. Brooks trying to hold on to their lead here with just over eight minutes to go. Murphy will leave this one back. Launchbury, Launchbury trying to find Murphy. Murphy had to scoop that one up. Murphy with 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. A loose ball. That's going to be snatched up. And now Six Nations moving up the floor. Over. Over for Stotts, and Stotts oh. scores! Austin Stotts! Make it two in a row. That was a better move by the Chiefs offense. All right. The Chiefs transitioned on that one as we'll look at the replay. But you know what? Usually on a, on a, on a transition play like that, Better players will just hold back up, but you know what? They they, they saw the, the numbers that they had, and they saw the, the movement, and you know what? That's tic-tac-toe and Austin Stotts with his second goal in a row. Look at the formation of the defense here once again, too. Well, it's Everybody's up. drawn in to everybody except for Stotts. Well, exactly. It's that, it's almost that fourth guy hockey. It's, a, it's incredible, and, it, 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 and again, that, it, that all comes with great ball movement, and, and you get that two-on-one -on -one play, and then all of a sudden, you know who's coming in from in transition. You know who's coming in from off the bench. So instead, like I was saying, instead of holding back and waiting for that offensive set, they wanted to run into transition and then have that transition translated with the offensive players, your offensive sharpshooters coming onto the floor fresh like that. And here's Cody Jamison with the ball on the near side. Number 88 with a shot, just misses the net. Six Nations down by one. A couple of quick goals by Austin Stotts, closing the gap. Jamison passes in behind, trying to find Stotts again going toward the net. But he was in the crease area. A couple of shots there, and Brooklyn able to move up. And again, being behind is nothing new to the Chiefs, and they're showing really no panic here. And they're just coming at BLC right now. Blanchbury. He got it over to Wesley, who's got the ball now, and Wesley takes a shot. It bounces off of the defender and goes into the corner. And another shot hits the side, and that's going to be scooped up here by First Nation, by Six Nations. Thompson. Thompson looking for some room. Thompson with some fresh legs on here now for the Chiefs. LeClaire, LeClaire looking around. Getting cut off at the pass. Thompson, loose ball right near the crease area. And that's going to be snatched up here. I was just going to say that's a new look by the Chiefs on the offense there. And again, was uh, something that the, the Chiefs brass really wanted to, to work at this year. It was the, these young athletic players that could play both ways. And uh, Nungo Thompson, uh, a perfect example of that. He's been playing on defense in transition. But on that offensive set, the guy has a, a great set of hands. And he showed it there. And a big cut toward the net. That one's not going to go. And Brooklyn, a fresh shot clock to work with here. Shot scores! Dyson Williams going downstairs. Again, it looks like they've, it's almost as if they've got a book on Dougie Jameson from outside there. Just 
pinpoint accuracy on this shot, and as you can see, nice ball movement, but right there, just beating Dougie Jameson. Let's take a look at that, where, where it beat him on. That just beat him, as you can see, Dougie Jameson was going to his right, the ball was going to the left. Uh, a, a bit of a misread on that one. Make it three for Williams here in this game. And the Chiefs with the ball here, they're forcing him into the corner to start this play. Jamison cuts over, there's a shot stopped. Austin starts with it again, up for Jamison. With home, fresh leg on the field. There's a shot, scores! He goes up high. Again, what a beautiful shot. My goodness, back and forth action we go. Vaughn Harris, a beauty of a shot from the far side. And again, Vaughn Harris, one of those guys that can do a little bit of everything, just showing patience. He knew exactly what he was doing when he had that ball before he even wound up. He, he, he just wound up and fired that thing right by Hutchcraft, and we've got ourselves a one-goal lead with five to go. Got that one right through traffic. LeClaire takes a hack. Still has the ball, though. LeClaire, what an effort. LeClaire, <laughs> and what a save. Love the physical play by Kellen LeClaire there. He just tried to bull himself in, get a shot, create space for himself by using that physicality. 5.07 to go here, and it's going to be a power play for Six Nations, trailing by one. If you're a Six Nations Chiefs fan, this is uh, what the doctor ordered uh, here. Power play with five minutes to go, and you're down by one. Almost a similar situation uh, to what happened uh, Wednesday in Brooklyn, or in Whitby. Chance up in front, a loose ball, snatched up. A good set of Jameson shot. And that one bounces off a body and stays out. Stotts, plays pitch and catch. Austin Stotts to the point for Jameson. Looking, shooting, stopped again. Vaughn Harris on that latest opportunity. Harris with it again to Stotts. Stotts, reverse, shoot, stop, oh. rebound. Loose ball did not go in. Couldn't they had the a trigger. big opportunity there. Looking for some room. Stotts looking, shooting, stop. Again, here's Harris to Stotts. Stotts shoots, that one goes wide. And a bouncing ball, chopping at it. Wow, and they hustle. keep hold of it. Here's Stotts again, over, inside, oh, scores! Oh, oh, oh. Tie game! Oh, oh, wow. That was pretty to watch, folks. Sam LeClaire. Oh, oh. LeClaire Le Bou! Sam LeClaire with a great Johnny on the spot. Right there, there's the hustle play right there. Loose ball, LeClaire gets the pass, dives in and over the shoulder of Hutchcraft. And again, that all started just with a great play and a loose ball created and you know what? The Chiefs opportunities all over. The one thing the Chiefs are doing right now, uh, they're taking advantage of that loose ball or grabbing those loose balls. Anytime they shoot the ball, they're on top of that rebound right away. Uh, that's one thing you can, you can tell. BLC is on their heels right now. They're trying to play defense. They're, they're not worrying about that loose ball. Uh, if you're a BLC fan, that's one thing you might want to pay a little bit more attention to. You have that, but you have to be aware of where that loose ball is because the Chiefs are eating up every loose ball in the offensive end, and that was a perfect example of that. The Chiefs are heating up. And they're using the physical play to their advantage here once again. McCrory will just leave it back here. Brooklyn, what kind of response do the visitors have here with 3.30 to go? A 10-10 game here at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. 
Looking around, there's a ball, that's jammed loose. And moving up, oh. only for a moment, and some pushing and shoving behind the play blows that one dead. Advantage to the, uh, advantage to BLC on that, on that mix up. Some more pushing and shoving, and that's a, that one's gonna be saved. Bucky Jamison getting in front of it again. Ball is still in possession of Brooklyn, but not anymore. Cupido. We'll hold on to it. There's Austin Stotts. Stotts looking to cut. Takes a shot. That one stopped down low. Stotts, though, recovering. And again, that loose ball recovered by the Chiefs and Austin Stotts on that one. Continuing to take that abuse. And Stotts with it again. Looking for a lane, takes a shot, bounces off the back of the net. That was and a Willie Brooklyn to recover here. Great pick by Bo Bohunter to create that room for Stotts on that last. Not much time left to go here. Cormier, Cormier trying to cut in. There's a shot and a loose. And picking it up there, good play by Dyson Williams. Getting it over to Waters. Waters, he found Murphy, but that one's gonna be intercepted. A minute 50 to go. Barnett's taking a look and he's just gonna wait and go off and get some fresh legs onto the field. i sure who that is. I don't think that. I mean, it might be Tyler Brown, not sure. We might have to check the score sheet after the game on that one. Just looks like, uh, it doesn't look like Barnett. Jamison looking, five seconds to go on the shot clock. That one shot off the goaltender, Hedgecraft. And now an opportunity here looms for the visitors. There's a shot down low and another save made by Jamison. Man. He had Bryce Tomey coming down the left side and he holds on. Ice in the veins of Dougie Jamison on that save. Didn't go down, he was pretty confident that he had that one. There's Barnett to Stotts, under a minute to go here in the third, a tie game, Stotts over. Back to Stotts, look, shoot, Stotts. The ball is still loose, who's gonna get it? It's gonna be the Chiefs. The Chiefs still with it, and it comes to Whitcomb. Over for Stotts. Looking to play that possession game here are the Chiefs, shot from behind, and there's gonna be another save made by Hutchcraft, and the whistle will go. And Cody Jamison's reaction said it all there. He, he thought he had that opening on that shot. Hutchcraft lifted up that big paw and made the nice save, and, and Cody Jamison just, oh man, I came that close to, to getting the winner on that. Here it is, here's off the replay here. And say he's weak at, uh, Jamison thought he had that he one thought for he sure. Had it. But a great one-on-one -on -one play, and uh, as, as Cody Jamison always does, creates room for himself by using that physical uh, that physical play, and he bumps off the defender, creates the space, makes the shot. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and Hutchcraft uh, knew exactly what uh, Cody was going to do on that one, obviously, as uh, Dwayne Jacobs is talking to his crew here. 28.9 seconds left on the clock here in the third period. So the shot clock doesn't really mean much. Nope. But for Brooklyn, it means everything. Absolutely. And, and of course, the uh, BLC coaching staff drawing up a set play here. They've got the sixth attacker on. With 28.9 to go here, and let's see what can happen. Is you can see on the bench, uh, lacrosse legend and uh, Buffalo Bandits head coach John Tavares going over some offensive schemes with the Chiefs' offense. He, he knows a few things about this sport. And he knows a couple of things, that's for sure. <laughs> you can see them there. They're going over some offensive set, an offensive set, just in case they get the ball here in transition. Murphy holding on to the ball here. Moves it over, six seconds left. Are they gonna beat the buzzer? Murphy with a shot stopped. Rebound scooped up, another save. 
made by Doug Jamison, and that will do it. Funny enough, funny enough, we were talking about uh, <laughs> the kids getting onto the floor. One kid got pretty excited. He uh, might not have realized it was a tie game. <laughs> yeah, hold on, little one. <laughs> he raced out there and almost a skirmish in front of the, the Chiefs net here as time expired. And we're going to have ourselves a 20 minute overtime, sudden victory, sudden death, depends on how morbid you feel. I mean, I'm in news, so. Uh, <laughs> we're. Sudden victory it is. Sudden victory it I is. I will take it. Sudden victory, 20 minutes on the clock. The legend, and John Tavares. Has a pretty uh, has a pretty popular relative too, playing uh, playing some ice hockey too. That's for sure. Of course, of course the, the NHL just wrapping up their season. Colorado yep. Avalanche just winning their first Stanley Cup since 2001. A little bit of a lacrosse twist on that. They get the Colorado Mammoth winning the, the NLL title a couple of days before. And of course, Joey Capito, who is newly acquired for the Chiefs, was on that Colorado Mammoth team. So lots to celebrate in uh, Denver, that's for sure. Must be something in the air up there. Well, I think so. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> the thin air. That's been air indeed. Well, what a game we, uh, we've had here, Mark. It's been a lot of fun. I'm glad that you guys have joined us for the ride here on Rogers TV. And I couldn't be, uh, and as a league, we couldn't be more thrilled to have you guys along for the ride. And of course, uh, we'll promote the heck out of this because all games in Brooklyn, all games on Six Nations are here. Rogers TV has it. You can watch it on your you get it on your super sports pack and for our friends internationally not internationally you can watch this one live and online and i know it's going to make some people happy i haven't been able to get onto the computer just to see to give shout outs next uh, next home game we'll give some shout outs i think uh i know but we've got a nice international audience here four major series of lacrosse and we couldn't be happier that you guys are here with us along this journey this season in 2022. Uh, glad to be here. It's uh, It's been a pleasure. And what a game we have had here so far as we are into the overtime sudden victory. 10-10 the score. Brooklyn looking to finish things oh. off. A big save by the goaltender, Jameson, and now LeClaire on the counterattack. LeClaire looking, LeClaire shooting, and that one goes wide of the goal. It bounced up high, and now the ball bounces the other way. I was going to say, the only criticism in this game so far was the beginning when when our, our, our friends working the clock in the penalty box decided to start the game three minutes before broadcast time. So that's one thing we'll definitely be working on next time. Uh, maybe we might need one of those red lights and say, don't start the game until I might it's like showtime. That. I think we might have to do that because uh, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I was shaking my head. I'm like, come on. Every game me here at the ILA runs late or starts late and the that we've ever started early we've got a live broadcast and we got three more to go here in this building it's going to be not next tuesday but the following tuesday the tuesday after that and the tuesday after that i'll be here for all three i'm glad i'm glad we had that week off because i, I was going to say on the way to the uh, the arena i'm thinking to myself I'm going to miss next week because I've got Jack Johnson tickets. Oh, boy. Uh, my daughter, uh, my daughter with the Father's Day gift. Can't wait. We're going to go to Toronto, watch that concert. My first concert in probably three years. So I, I'm pretty pumped about that. But uh, I'm kind of glad that we don't play next week. Mm -hmm. As you can see there, of course, Coburg will be in town on the 12th. Peterborough on the 19th. And you'll be able to... Uh, if you have a your, shot, good save by Jameson. If you have the Super Sports Pack or if you have access to your TV, you'll be able to watch Thursday's game in Peterborough between the, the Chiefs and the Lakers. And again, big rivalry game on Thursday night at 8 o'clock at the PMC. The PMC will be rocking, that's for sure. Jameson passes it up to Whitcomb. 
Moving it over for Jamison. Jamison looking to cut in, trying to find Stotts cutting in. There's a shot stopped. And Hutchcraft will scoop this one up. Any predictions, uh, overtime winning goals? Ooh. You know what, Stop. Austin Stotts for the Chiefs is going to be my guess at least. I'm not too sure about Brooklyn yet. Dyson Williams. That's uh, Dyson that's, Williams uh, that's, that's going to be my uh, that's going to be my call. Dyson Williams from BLC. And I'm going to go in on a limb here. Joey Capito going to score for the Chiefs. That's a good pick as well. This is Paulus. Paulus looking for some room. Up, over, shoot, stop. And that's going to be sent all the way back to Whitcomb. And again, great ball movement, and again, great, uh, great loose ball pickup by the Chiefs. Shot down low, stopped by Hutchcraft. And they're going to scoop this one up. Chris Willman will just leave it. He'll go off for a change. And Kyle Waters here for Brooklyn. Waters. Trying to get around the defense. Waters will just pitch it back. The ball movement here by Brooklyn. There's a shot toward the goal and another save by Dougie Jamison as the shot clock was running down to near zero. And again, these defenses not giving in at all. Jamison pitches that one back. Whitcomb. Austin Stotts on the near side. Stotts looking to crash the goal. He loses his helmet. There's a shot from a near side. And that one's going to go wide. Austin Stotts has to pick up his helmet. Meantime, a counterattack here for Brooklyn. Passed over. Over. There's a shot. Score. No, they're going to wave it off. He stepped inside the crease. Chiefs got a lucky break on that one. As the foot was in the crease, I believe that was 27. That was Ryan Burnable. And now Brooklyn will get the ball back here after Six Nations almost got an opportunity to score. Keeman will leave this one back for Lanchbury. Passes that one over. Lanchbury again trying to find his man going in toward the goal. Cormier getting muscled away. Over, shoots off the post. Oh, so close. The goalie union, that's a save. And this is Cupido here again, just getting mobbed there by two defenders. <laughs> Great defense by BLC, that's for sure. They knew exactly what Joey Caputo wanted to do. And they did not give him an inch. Not at all. Wesley holds on to this one. Offer for Pilcher. Pilcher, there's a shot by Williams, and he's going to go back for it and gets it right back into play. Murphy. Over, shot, stopped by Jamison. Couple of sticks loose, and Murphy and LeClaire, and LeClaire looking for a, a belly to belly suplex, I think, there for a moment. <laughs> we had the Hulk Hogan music a while ago. That was pretty appropriate. But a, a nifty little play before the physical play happened in front of the uh, Six Nations Chiefs uh, net. Uh, on that shot, Dougie Jameson, you'll see it here. Watch. Oh, uh, we're, we're, getting that. The, we're getting the skirmish we're, we're here. Getting the, we're getting the skirmish. We're getting the little, uh, we were getting the Hulk Hogan hour on that one. But uh, before that, Dougie Jameson made the save, but what he's noticed, he flicked his stick. He had the ball, he, instead of absorbing the ball all the way in and having no rebound, we're going to have the replay here. You can see him. He kicks it out. He was trying to get that fast break going here. Here we'll see it. Cagey veteran move. See how he just flicked it out? Usually Dougie Jamison will absorb that, bring it in. But he wanted to get that, that fast break going. But unfortunately, a little bit of wrestling action a couple of feet away from him. 5-10 to go here in the extra session. Still a 10-10 game as both teams try to draw up a play. And it will be Six Nations ball. It is Austin Stotts with the ball here to start things off. 
Quickly over to the far side. Stotts here now. Inside. Looking for some room is Jamison. Jamison has to turn around a couple of times. He takes a couple of shots. Jamison over. Shot. Stopped. A big save by wow. Hutchcraft. That's a beautiful save. And of course, uh, Cody Jamison playing it smart. You know, we were saying in the intermission he had three assists already. That was Thompson. a perfect example why. Thompson. A huge couple of hacks. And now the ball is loose. Here's LeClaire. He's got Thompson with him. Thompson with Whitcomb as well. Thompson looking, shooting, and that one, it's in the equipment of Hutchcraft, and he'll hold on. We'll go back to that play by Cody Jamison where he, he, he just absorbed all the punishment and he drew two defenders, and what he did you know, with that, he just dumped off the pass, and that's, a, that's what he does best right now. He's a facilitator. Cormier holding on to it here. Over to the near side for Murphy. Murphy, couple of turns. Murphy with a turnaround shot, and that one's going to be stopped by Jamison. And that ball is going to be sent all the way down as Logan was looking for that stretch pass. He had nothing but imagination in front of him. <laughs> That's for sure. Wide open spaces, as they call it. Peyton Cormier. On the far side, Cormier shot stops. Another save by Jameson. And now they're looking to come up. Here comes Six Nations again. A quick pass up here for Austin Stotts. Stotts looking to finish. He shoots another save by Hutchcraft. Little chirp back and forth between Hutchcraft and Stotts after that. And now this is Wilman. Leads it here. Lanchbury. Lanchbury over. Holding on to it here is Wesley. Wesley looking for a lane. He finds a man. Pilcher still with it. Trying from behind the goal. And that ball is going to bounce right into the possession. Tried the old Dunkaroo. Another shot, that one's gonna go up high. A rebound, looking to jump up high was Cupido. And the whistle will go, and Brooklyn coming back the other way. Murphy on the near side, pitches it over. There's a shot, that one goes wide. The ball bouncing, Thompson will scoop it up. Thompson. On the near side, we'll move it up here. Fresh legs on here for the Chiefs. Jamison, 2.05 to go here in the extra session. Jamison, taking a look, gets it over. Some good ball movement here. Austin Stott, shot, stopped by Hitchcroft. Another shot, stopped by Hitchcroft. Hutchcraft with a beautiful squeeze. Squeeze the apple on that one, that's for sure. And a couple more shoves there before I believe Thompson and Tommy go to their respective benches. Lanchbury, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Lanchbury going after it. He just knocks that one over. Wesley, Wesley looking, still with it, shooting. That one bounced off the top of the goal. Wesley in behind. Wesley. Over. Shoots. Another save by Jamison. And he has that one deflect out of play. That one went right off the shoulder and uh, into the crowd. And that's a high net. So that ball has to bounce up extra high. Lanchbury. Up high. Still down. My goodness. Oh, my. Took that shot right to the kisser. Wow. That's all you can say on that one. Jerry Stotts. Of course, the physical defense, uh, the Six Nations Chiefs, that's always Ooh. been a, ouch, that one's gonna hurt. Devoured, that was Ryan Barnable. Jerry Stotts got him a little bit high. No call on the play on that one, but, uh, Wow. I think that was Luke, that may have been Luke Pilcher. Yeah, that was Pilcher, yeah. And he can, 
Well, uh, gingerly, uh, gingerly walks to the bench. Doing that one, under a minute to go. A power play here for Brooklyn, trying to finish things off. Murphy, Murphy shot stopped by Jamison. And of course, the call high sticking on that one. Of course, he caught him up high, that's for sure. Another stop by Jamison. Good play by the goaltender to step in front of that one. That ball still loose. And now the counterattack here. Logan gets it over. Jamison looking, shooting, stop. Rebound still with it. The ball is still loose. It's outside the crease. Who's going to get to it? It will be Brooklyn coming up with it. Great hustle by both teams on that play. Excellent hustle here in this game. As they try to move the ball around. Over inside and Jamison's gonna grab it. And that will do it. And BLC tried to get a little too fancy on that last play, not really knowing. session it is still 10 10 nobody able to beat either goaltender in the last 20 minutes and again last uh last counter stats guy john molson here beside us 62 58 in favor of the chiefs shots on net so we've got ourselves a lot of shots in this one as they're trying to figure out what's going on actually hey yeah, the game's over. That's what I thought. Yeah, they're waving. They're waving. <laughs> they're saying, "Yeah, this one is over." We got a little confused here. What was going on there near the officials? Well, it was area. funny. It was funny. I don't think the teams wanted to finish this one in time. They wanted more time. That was a lot of fun. This game. That yeah, was, that's for sure. The fans got their money's worth here, and I mean, you don't see it too, too often where you minutes in lacrosse and not one ball goes into the net. No, and again, that's a tribute to these two world-class goaltenders and uh, world-class defensive units as well. As boy, oh boy, Dougie Jamison and Riley Hutchcraft put on a show uh, tonight and especially in that overtime period, you know, uh, games on the line, ice vein both goaltenders and the defensive units were, were rock solid as well. And they, you know what? If there's a first game to have on Rogers TV and this new relationship with the uh, major series of lacrosse, I'm, gonna, I'm good with it, that's for sure, because uh, this one was a real treat, that's for sure. So the final, 10-10, Six Nations and Brooklyn walk away with the draw. Six Nations back in action on Thursday as they hit the road to Peterborough. That will be an 8 o'clock start for Brooklyn. They get to wait a little bit. They don't play again until Wednesday, July 6th, as they play host to Coburn. For Daryl Smart, I'm Mark Perry. For everybody else on the Rogers TV crew, we say so long from the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena.